Hi, good morning. Welcome back to Help on Monday. This is Why in the Morning. You have been watching the Y254 channel. We're so glad that you guys are tuned in. Remember that this is the one show where we talk to you guys about various health issues, body, mind, body, and soul, um, all combined. And so today we're actually going to be focusing something to do with the mind because lately we've been doing a lot of body um, health talks and so karibu nisana if you want to talk to us on our uh, social media handles please feel free to do so remember our social media handles are right down there at the bottom of the screen and you can put hashtag health on monday and hashtag why in the morning find me on join the or join Mochache on other social media platforms i want to introduce a man who's been here before and he actually was here to talk about uh, different mental health issues at that time we're talking about dyslexia and autism but here today he's talking about low self-esteem i'd like you guys to help me in welcoming mr masharia karibasana thank you yes thank he's you, a Joy. psychologist yes <laughs> yes yes so he knows exactly what he's doing yep. and you're well versed on these topics thank you we're glad to have you back i'm glad to be back at 254 uh -huh. good to see you again okay good. yes good to see you too yeah all right so today we decided we're going to be touching on something that is actually um a big concern in our society, yes. um, both for men and women, yes. both young and old, it doesn't really matter. Yes. Something that we call low self-esteem. Yeah. Maybe you can start off by letting people know what uh, so, uh, esteem is to start off with, or low self-esteem. What is it uh, generally, in very simple terms? Right. Now, when we say and talk about low self-esteem, those are two words, the low and the esteem. Yes. Esteem is the value, is the price tag mm -hmm. someone has for himself or for herself. Yeah. So when we talk about low self-esteem, before even anybody knows you have that right. condition or problem, right. it's an inner feeling, it's an inner voice mm. that tells you the negative things in a very loud voice. So basically, low self-esteem is an inner situation mm -hmm. that now talks to you alone, mm -hmm. and then we see the results of your troubled mind. Right. Actually, low self-esteem has been classified by the World Health Organization as a mental condition. Oh. And it is an alarm even as we speak. It's been classified as a mental yes. condition by, yes. by, by the World, World Health, Health uh, Organization. WHO. WHO. Okay. Yes, so we are really uh, looking forward to awareness of this condition that is really increasingly damaging our confidence and our lifestyle and i would want also to say that when someone has low self-esteem it gradually destroys the brain really the way you think the way you approach life mm. and the normal day-to-day -day activities are altered sometimes completely wow and sometimes to a level whereby uh, getting back to yourself becomes actually psychic you have to to be helped because you yeah. reach a place of nervous way breakdown mm. and if it is a woman necessarily mm. they graduate to something we even call bipolar bipolar yes wow yes what is bipolar bipolar is a condition that mostly we call it a women condition Guys. because <laughs> a women's condition yes because men don't suffer from bipolar only women but do. I've met men who have bipolar disorder yes it is a spectrum but more so to women okay men gets nervous way breakdown okay because they crash from inside but right. for a woman it becomes so hyper and they develop some other characteristics and you are really able to tell this is what is happening right I see yes okay and so if not checked then a low self-esteem can develop into another mental health condition yes. called yes. bipolar dis yes. disorder yes I see yes and so now let's go back to the grassroots and kind of try to try to um, start from the bottom of everything yeah when we're talking about low self-esteem yeah. or esteem as you said they're two different words yeah. so the esteem is a value somebody has a price tag somebody has on themselves yes and the low is just the inner they voice yes. that tells you something is wrong mm. with either the way you talk mm. with your hair yeah with your body structure yeah. mm. shape color 
and everything. Everything. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And so there's something telling you uh, there's something wrong with your hair. There's something, there's something wrong, wrong with your, your skin. There's something, there's something wrong, wrong with your body. When you stand. There's something wrong with the way there's you talk. There's something wrong with everything. every show you yeah. wear. Uh -huh. And there is something wrong when you wear a dress. There's yeah. something wrong when you wear jeans. Mm. And you keep on checking what people are looking at you or behaving you keep on looking at your mirror you even carry a very big mirror sometimes you slide it and you check yourself you don't really believe i'm you're glad you okay. started there because i want us to talk about some of the <laughs> symptoms yeah. some of the symptoms in case there's a parent watching yes. out there yes what 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 are some of the things they can look at is of it to manza sasa right. the mirror yeah what else are we talking about when it comes to esteem? Is it something to do with outside or could it also be done, um, could it also affect somebody from the inside? Yeah. Now, as I started saying earlier, it is an inner feeling and an inner voice telling you, you either stupid. So anytime you stand before people, wow, it tells you, you you're feel stupid. you're stupid. And then in case someone jokingly tells you, and do you know that was a stupid thing you said? You now convict three Judge yourself so harshly and say, anyway, it's true. And especially if it is said by someone in authority, either your boss comes around and says, today you, you, you look stupid, just a joke. You internalize it and you keep it and you amplify it until tomorrow you're too sick wow. Wow. to come to work. Wow. Just a simple statement yes. crushes someone with low self-esteem. Mm. If my self esteem is low is, is okay mm. it's not low and it's not very high mm. if someone can send and tells me mm. that was a stupid program i would just laugh exactly i would right? just laugh at it and say what okay. was so stupid is it me or my church or both of us or everything mm. and i'll make a joke out of it yeah no, because when i do it? that yeah. i neutralize the poison directed to my heart and Perfect. that is the point Perfect. that is the point what does that say about your esteem then uh, it's a healthy esteem. The he it's a healthy esteem, but I'll tell you frankly, it fluctuates from day-to-day -day activities. I if see. you had a busy day and you're tired, you might feel low, you might feel a burnout, but that does not necessarily rob me the value I have tagged. For example, before I left home, I took care of myself. I love myself. Yes. I treat myself. Yes. I match my coat with my socks. I can see, sir. <laughs> I look for a nice cologne. I go to a nice kinyozi. I take time to be pampered. I don't care how much I'll pay after exactly. that. Exactly. From there, I execute a direct link to my heart that now I am okay. In case someone thinks I'm not okay, yeah. I don't care. Yes. All what I know is I know I am okay. I'm good. And I'm good to go. Mm. So if you feel maybe because of your damaged self-esteem and ego, mm. I will not take part in that. Mm. I will take care of myself and mm. my inner feeling, excluding now confidence that will make me move mm. in a better judgmenting ways in my life understand and yes. this is such a deep topic because it has so many areas it has so it. many areas and i like how we're going because we've yeah. talked about some of the symptoms some of the things that we can pick up and see right but now we're talking about deeper things yeah such as somebody with low self esteem like you just said right now yes. a couple sentences ago yes um when someone has low self-esteem yeah. they also tend to how can i say harshly judge themselves harshly judge themselves and others and also very and sensitive others. And I'll start off with an example of myself because I love doing this. I, and this is why I do health on Monday. Okay. Because I'm here to show people that, you know, um, we're human. We're of human. Course. We've all gone through things. Yes. The fact is some of us have overcome and we're here to help others overcome. Yes. That's the whole point of this. Yes. And so what happens is when I was a bit younger, I did have a very, very low self-esteem because for me, people picked on me um, concerning my skin. Okay. And I was like, oh my gosh, what is it? I, I used to have, a, I had a condition, I still do, called, called eczema. And I'm completely proud about it. And I'm open about it. And I speak about it on the internet. And I talk to other people about it. But it put me down. Yeah. But the people who are putting me down yeah. for my skin condition, yeah. you'd realize, yeah. had a low self-esteem of their own. Yes. Yeah? Yes. And so that's what I wanted to get to, was yeah. that issue of, I may look at it, minta cheka too. Yes. Like you'll tell me and I'll laugh. Yes. Unona, yes. And I'll leave it alone. Yes. But then there's that issue where someone has that esteem and they feel like I'm going to have to justify myself. Mm -hmm. And kama ni mimi, yeah. having that low self-esteem, yeah. I shall also make you suffer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I've seen that in our young people. Right. And that is what we call a bully. 
Right. And this is what we're seeing in schools right now. Yes. And as an expert, yeah. are these the kind of people that walk into your office? Yes. And I'd like to know, is there a link between someone that has self, uh, low self-esteem and yeah. a bully? Now, thank you. I want to say this. When you have an issue with low self-esteem, you create a void in your spirit and in your life right. and in your mind. Mm. And it must be filled by something weird. Oh. Yes. <laughs> it must be filled with something weird. So weird. when you see someone bullying you, mm. you have no problem. Of course. It is their issue. They are not able to handle themselves and internalize their issues. So they become a bully to cover up the void that is in their brain, in their mind, and in what value they put in you. Mm. Because if I have my, my, my esteem right, I will treat you like my sister. I will not bury you. Exactly. And even if I have to joke, it will not be an extended joke to hurt you. Exactly. It will be something to make me and you mm. survive in this world. <laughs> yes. For example, I am a short man. <laughs> and I suffered from what we call short man syndrome. So anytime With anybody... Something like that? Yes, there is short term... There is short man syndrome. Wow. And when a short man stands, you think wow. that he's being rooked down by the tall people. Yeah. And I needed something to fill that, 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 those few inches with anger, fury, and fights. I would pick anybody and I would start a fight with anyone. Little did I know I was suffering like Hitler was very short and Mussolini with a short man syndrome. And thank you for bringing that up because later on we're going to touch on, um, <laughs> yes. um, we're going to touch on people who have destroyed this world. And yes. later on we found out they were yes. mentally ill with they were low self-esteem to the point condition. where they wanted to destroy everybody yes. for some reason. Yes. yes, that is exactly what happens. Mm. And something else, when someone has a low self-esteem, as I said earlier, they look for, they usually have sharp appetites. One, for food. Two, sex and pornography. Yes, to fill that void. Wow. Three, dress. And sometimes you might wait for someone to change and they like change like 10 times. Sometimes they go, they pick this dress, it's not nice. Oh, people look at me. What about my bust? What about, and some, sometimes they'll even push up their their boobs to to fill up a certain void yeah. because they don't even accept their self, mm. themselves. Some even go as far as to get plastic surgery. And you know that, we look that, at that, we, that we one, look at we look that at one, when mm. you talk about plastic surgery it comes in two groups. Oh. We have corrective surgery yes. which is actually medical and that is fine. And that is fine. Cosmetic surgery. I'm but we have now the cosmetic that surgery. That one where you go and add your breasts. That is whereby you go and you have the, the implants. Yeah. And sometimes like they have their, their, their side effects. Because some are actually being tried. Mm. Some are not completely mm. at par with your body mm. and everything. And I'm glad you brought this up because I want to talk a little bit about what our youth are seeing today in media. Sorry. This is important um, uh, self-esteem because... Yes. If this thing is not dealt with you, you have no idea how difficult your life is going to be. There's yes. a, a, a certain perspective. There's a certain way you look at life yeah. when you have a low self-esteem. Yeah. Believe me. Yeah. And now that, now that you have grown out of it, yeah. I look at it and I'll be like, oh my gosh, is that how I really used to look at life? Right. Madness. Yes. So there's that, there's that need for us to change our children and let them know that um, when you have a healthy self-esteem, you look at life in a healthy perspective, right. which brings me to the issue of media. <laughs> what are kids watching stuff on TV, for example, celebrities? And when I'm talking about plastic surgery in this sense, I'm talking cosmetic surgery. Right, right now, people like Kylie Jenner are everywhere. Yeah. These Kardashian ladies. Yes. And you know, right now it seems like they're so comfortable with what they're doing, yes. that they're perfect in what they're doing. Yes. But you know, as a psychiatrist, and I've heard psychiatrists Psychologist. look at them and say, it's a low self-esteem yes. because you have changed literally everything about yourself because yes. you didn't like yourself. Yes. Yes. And so we have our children looking up to people with a low self-esteem yeah. and they start questioning themselves. Right. How come I don't look like this? How come yes. my body is not shaped like hers? Yes. Why aren't my lips like that? Or yes. why aren't, you know, how come I don't have hips like those? Yes. And you find 
it just affects our children. Right. They start running to those things. You said the weird things. Yes. Um, the, uh, maybe a food appetite or not yes. eating at all. Yes. Or uh, maybe drinking too much or maybe just, just going rebellious. Call it indulgence. Yes. The pornography. The Call it indulgence. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. How can we deal with this issue? And what do you say when it comes to especially curbing our children into watching these people that are bringing their self-esteem down because even social media does it to them. Munangalia even on Akia Maisha so and so Nipoa, Amanda Dubai, they have done the dream Nini. These right. are all connected. I'll tell you something. We are living in a world of um, make it or break it. Right. If I have made it, I'll break the rest not to reach where I am so that I'll be top class. Please repeat that. We are living in a world of make it or break it. Yes. If I have made it maybe to the media, I don't want anybody coming and giving me a competition. Right. Or a healthy competition. Right. I just want to remain there. Yeah. But now, this is damaging even in our uh, generation, the generation that is coming. Right now, what we are having in the media, I'm sorry to say, it's the hype. Most of these celebrities, after their shows and their successful shows, they cannot maintain the pressure. So what they do, they take drugs and they are frustrated. In they private. cannot maintain even their families. In private, they cry. Yes. In private, they are broken. Yeah. But they, they present a very cosmetic life and lifestyle. And most of them are not even able to sustain their hyped view. So they must take something extra to sustain their lifestyle. So when we look at them from this side, we are like, oh my God, I just love that dress. Mm. But now I cannot afford that dress. So what happens? It either hits me below the belt, or sometimes it just gives me a, a very nuisistic kind of a... Why don't we talk about something close to home? Yeah. Recently, um, not recently, a few years ago, I think it has calmed down a little bit or it's a bit quiet. There's a celebrity called Vera Siddika. Yes. Who went and did the same thing to her body. Yes. And everyone's looking at her like, all right, I speak the truth on this show, yeah. but I'm looking at you like you went and changed everything. Yeah. There's no way you can tell me you were happy with yourself. You right. were not. That's yeah. why you changed everything. Right. And so that tells me you were not healthy. You did not have a healthy esteem to begin with. Okay. Now our girls looking yeah. up to Vera Siddika yeah. like madness, lightening their skin, doing Sidri Nini. Ah, it really hurts my feelings. And I don't know what we can do to curb this. Let's right. talk about now things here at home. Things here at home. Amazingly, when I went to Dubai, I was amazed that most of the whites there, they want to be black. Ha! Huh. Coming back home. <laughs> All these black ladies here want to be white. Ah. Who said white is the measure of beauty? Mm. True. Who said being big hipped is, is the way, is the norm? Mm. Who said slim girls are not good? Right. Where are we getting this hyped, crazy uh, view that is so distorted? And I have seen most of our ladies, they will take even jig to breach hmm. their, their, their skin. Yeah. With little concern to their effect and age. Because as you grow, the elasticity of your skin mm -hmm. relaxes. Yeah. So if you introduce something like cosmetic surgery on your skin, the skin can extend even to a meter long or even a feet. Huh. Yes. <laughs> and you have not considered that today I have done maybe, I have, let's talk about the breast implant, whereby we take the saline mm. capsule, mm. then it is, it is inserted. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it breaks inside. And you have to go back and get it removed, cleaned, and replaced. Yeah. So... What if you don't have, maybe today you are employed and you are able to do that. Then it breaks and you're not in a position to do that. Mm -hmm. Honestly. Now, that becomes a real struggle. And that's why I'm saying most of these people cannot even sustain yeah. their life. That's why they will pick on one man who can sustain and help their lifestyle. And in case he, that man goes down, they will just move to the next available guy who is willing to 
to, to sustain, take up to get, take up the job of yep. sustaining your lifestyle. Yeah. And that's why we have consistent breakups, right, even right. with the celebrities outside there and even here. Yes. Because maybe the ladies there in their lives cannot be sustained. Their lifestyle have completely changed. Right. And as I said, when you have an issue with, your, with yourself, you will create problems for yourself and you pull as others down as you go down. And that is where bullying and life becomes very difficult for everybody. Mm. Sometimes even our parents, mm. they will compare me with my brother. They'll say, he mm. did very well in mathematics, mm. he did very well in chemistry. Mm. Whereas personally, I am not blessed on that line. Mm. I am blessed on fashion mm. and, and, and on hands-on skills. So right. when they compare me every mm. time, even in discussions, mm. you're not like Mochacha, you're not like this one. Now that completely destroys my literal uh, self-esteem that I'm trying to salvage. Right. And yes. we, we, we now want to talk about the, the um, when it comes to families and how it may affect them. Yes. And then we'll finish off by talking about finally school yeah. and how people gradually grow up and take all these habits to university and so on. Yes. But right now, let's take it to home. Yes. At home. Yes. You were saying that people are, parents can compare siblings. Like, yes. You now, how come you're not like your brother? Yeah. Your brother passed his exams well. He yes. got A's in everything. Yes. All right. Now, coming from an authority like a father or a mother, mm. it has a spiritual implication. Mm. And it also has the, like, this is my dad saying I'm stupid because I've not done that. You accept it because it is coming from the person you trust most. Wow. And that crushes you. Even the literal self-esteem you're trying to build completely breaks. Mm. Now, that is for the person with the raw self-esteem being fueled to completely go down. What happens now to the person you're being compared to? The ego now goes high and it becomes a bully. And he tells you, my dad knows I do better on this, not in comparison, but to <laughs> put you down completely. Right. To switch off even the small frame you're trying to uh, find in mm. life. And you see we have sibling library and that is unhealthy from the parents, from the teachers, and from everyone who is in authority there. Yes. When you direct uh, negative and criticism, you now raise up kids with very self-broken esteem. Yes, Yes. I understand that. Yeah. And you know, it's it's quite disheartening. And I wish our parents could, you know, stop doing this, stop comparing your, your children to each other. Yeah. Your children will always have different strengths. This yes. one has this strength, another yes. one has, you, your children can't all be good at maths and science. That's the one truth. One will excel in music yes. and will become a celebrity and leave the one with science yes. there at a desk somewhere. Yes. So please, let's just try and, you know, nurture, um, nurture whatever them. gift yeah. your child has. Yeah. Don't compare them. Yeah. If they're lacking in an area that you wish they had. Yes leave it alone yes. and you focus on the area where they are yeah. doing well even if it's a sport am i right most of the time when the parents come to me or when the children come to me we usually do something called a SWOT analysis and we take your strength uh -huh. fast mm -hmm. and we make sure we deal with you from your perspective of strength uh -huh. then we take the same person mm. and analyze your weakness hey and now I'll tell you you're very good as an anchor and now you can maybe do journals or watch more of other people who have excelled on the Rhine you get a few tips then we want to know what is your weakness and then we will try to tell you how to suppress your weakness to maintain your strength of course. because the more we talk and work on your strength the better you become and the lesser we we suppress the weakness Very true. then now we take the opportunity how many opportunities do your strength give you? And how many threats now on the SWOT analysis that threaten your maintaining your strength? Right. And then we start eliminating what we call the stressors. Stressors. For example, yes, sir. you're very slim and beautiful. Thank your you, BMI mm. is not compromised. Thank you. No, it's what not. do I mean? What do I mean? That if you're five foot tall, Mm. There is a weight that you need to carry for your body so that you don't have a backache and don't, you don't stop. Mm. And when you think your body is not good, you now get into a class of maybe skipping meals mm. to a point whereby you, you, you have a condition called nervosa, whereby you even try to induce vomit so that you maintain the 
the, 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 the slim fit kind of a... And we're going to be talking eating disorders two weeks yes. from now. Yes. Yes. So now that is a disorder uh, culminating from your brain from the slow self-esteem. There is a person you saw and you thought this is the way to go. But because you cannot fit on that frame, mm. you squeeze yourself so much because now you think that is the model. And then when you're already there, it becomes a mirage, a horizon. You realize I'm very slim, but life has changed. Nobody wants a slim lady. They want the big lady. So what ah. do you do? You inject yourself with something crazy yes. and then you are another Mm. Siddika for that I'm mother. Siddika. Yes. <laughs> and uh -huh. now when you're already at Siddika, mm. you realize now it has changed. We, we need a different aspect. Mm. And you know what? Now the I trend has become slim now again. The trend has <laughs> be, the, the goals keep on changing yeah. and shifting mm. and more so with the hyping from the media. Mm. All right? Mm. Mm. And now you cannot mm. keep up mm. with all these shifting goals. Mm. Find yourself and plant yourself where you're supposed to be mm. and now work with yourself and move towards your direction and don't care so much about the hyped life and be yourself. Thank By you so doing, mm. you will be able even to help your generation. Mm. You know, there will not be a threat to you and you'll be able even to understand the, the, our father's generation which never saw the dryers, which <laughs> never saw the, 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 the cosmetics, yes. which never know, saw the foundation and the pots. Yes. The best my mom could afford was creatine and ambi. Mm -hmm. And Nai, some, uh, that one, when one to me, uh, the lantern, uh. ide ime, the shoot, uh. they would do that. Yes. And they'll be okay. But wow. today, you don't even know what you really want. It's too much. It's too much. And you know, in conclusion, I'd yeah. like us to, to <laughs> quickly to quickly talk about um, how it affects um, people in adulthood. And then I want you, yeah. you started like you were saying a solution. Yes. And now I want you to give a solution after you say what happens when it affects us in adulthood. And then yes. please give a solution yes. for how our parents can work with our kids yeah. to destroy this thing at the root. Right. Yeah. One for every person who is growing there. You need to define your life. Mm -hmm. You need to find yourself. Mm -hmm. One, accept yourself. Mm -hmm. For example, I am a man. Mm -hmm. I have made it in life. Mm -hmm. But I have other men who have really made it better than me. I will not be them. Today as I stand here, I'm better than other men who look at me as a model. Right. The others I look to. Now, and I'll tell you this. In life, we are all chasing or being chased by something. Oh. And that in is life the, we're chasing in life or being chased. Yes. Okay. So if I'm going to chase like whatever other men have, yeah. I will die trying because I'll never reach there. Perfect. And if I run away from whatever other people are running away, then I'll not be a model. So I need to stand up somewhere and say, I'm not chasing other people's dreams. And I'm going to wait until I serve my life with the purpose. From one, have an inner, I must find my inner voice to talk to me good things about myself. Positive. Positive this regard. This is what I wanted you to, positive. Positive regard. Positive. Whether someone is criticizing me, that is okay, that is their view, that is their distorted view, mm. but personally I'm <laughs> at peace with view. myself. I'm at peace with I'm myself. I'm at peace with my yellow jacket. <laughs> I mean I am. You oh, call it a mukamba. I wish I could I give you a high five. No, 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 I mean I am okay. Yeah. Even when I walk and people are like, how are you mukamba? I am, I am happy. It's what I chose. You got your opinion, I that's am, cool. That yeah. is cool and I love it mm. and nobody will change that, right? And I need to reason to my inner voice more mm -hmm. than I'll reason to Muchache with her distorted kind of a... Perfect. And that will make me at peace with myself. Mm. And I'll not be running and proving myself to anybody. So what you're saying in conclusion is yes. that not to listen to outside voices. Take care to of listen. your inner voice. Yes. And even if it means waking up... And let's say you're, you're, used, to, you're used to listening to... Or you're, in your mind you have a lot of negative uh, talk and thoughts. Yes. You can even look for things on the internet that will put the positivity in you. Actually, and, mm. I wouldn't ad advise anybody to go looking for things in the internet. Okay. I'm sorry I will tell that. you something. Okay. I will do what the military does. Which is what? The first thing in the morning when the military people wake up, whether it is raining or whether they have something that they need to take care of, they first do something. They make their bed. Period. 
is a very simple thing, but it aligns you with the day. It's the first success of your day. Make your bed. Make your bed. And when you are going out there, thank God that I've already made my bed. That means I've already succeeded in the first thing in the morning. Then you have a positive mind. That is why every policeman will polish their shoes and they will make their bed before they even go Gee, to the armory weird. and get their work assigned. And if even their readers know that they have not made their bed, you are not going to work for that day because you failed in the first assignment of the day. Do you know I can't leave my room without making my bed? That is because... If I open the door, yes, I'll go back and yes, make my bed. That is because it is your first success of the Without day. Without knowing. And by the time you come back tired and frustrated, you have a comfort. You have already made your own bed. So I'm like, have you ever gone somewhere and you have not made your bed? And you realize that, am I the one going to make my bed and sleep? You really feel disturbed. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you failed. So before you even go to the bigger things in the internet, start mm -hmm. with yourself. Mm -hmm. Start by small, start by the smallest success you can make. Mm -hmm. Start with your bed. Mm -hmm then tidy up yourself, mm. then face the world with all the confidence you can. Yeah. Listen to your inner voice. Okay. He can never lie to you. Yeah. And that will make you avoid all these unnecessary raw self-esteem. And even if someone decides to like, shout at you because of your failures, accept them. Know that I am failing. I'm not where I, am, I want to go, but I'm on my way. Yes. And that will create and will give you the confidence you need okay. for anything. Wow. Yes. Ah, mm. Thank you so much for You're that. You're welcome. Unfortunately, we have to. <laughs> hey, unfo no. yeah, it's so unfortunate. No, we still have other days ahead. Yes. Tw well, 254 is still here. So. Why 254? Yes, they're held it is. on Mondays. Still yes, here. we are still here. But unfortunately, this particular segment has yes. to be shut down so yes. that we can give way to youth and politics. We yes. have had so much fun and it yeah. has been so interesting for me. I have learned so much. Yes. And I hope you guys have also learned something by me sharing what I went through. Yeah. And don't worry, all these things you can overcome. You yes. can always overcome. Yes. And you can always pour positivity into the world. Yeah. And thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you so much, Mr. Shari, for making time to thank come you, through. Joy. You guys remember, hashtag why in the morning? Hashtag help on Monday. We are on next Monday again for another talk. Do not, do not miss us too much. Thank you.